Welcome to Mo Motors and today we have a very special video for you courtesy of my very good friend behind the camera who you can't see but what you can see is this car right here the 2015 BMW X5 it's more specifically the X35i so BMW started selling these in 1999 and since then the past 20 years they've been selling these like hotcakes especially in the North American European and Chinese markets now they have a lot of competition especially um, with Lexus Mercedes and Audi because everyone wants SUVs right now especially family luxury crossovers this segment has been extremely competitive there's cars like the Lexus RX the Mercedes GLE and Audi Q5 that are nipping at the tails of this car and that's why BMW always has to be in the top game so why choose this BMW X5 over its competitors well there's three reasons that I can give you one you want family practicality and performance as a priority two you like to make a statement every time you drive into a restaurant parking lot and three you love tailgating people in the fast lane of a highway so if that's you this car is perfect so let's get into it So I want to make a case of why you should choose this five-year-old 2015 BMW X5 over the brand new one. So the brand new X5s have an MSRP of 81,000 Canadian dollars, especially when you uh, feature them just like this car is. That's before taxes and delivery. This 2015 BMW X5 is worth 30 grand in the Canadian market right now. That's over 50% of its value lost in just five years. So this makes it a steal given how similar these two cars are. Second is this grille. Now this grille in the 2015 generation model years has been a very nice, quaint and well proportioned grille compared to the newer BMW which has a wider grille and that makes the car look a bit misproportioned and actually smaller when you look at it so it doesn't look mature and bolstered like this one does. Now let's get into the hood of the BMW and you'll notice we have gas struts because we're in a BMW. We want luxury. We don't do manual labor. That's for the peasants, right? So this engine in the X35i is an inline six cylinder turbocharged engine producing 300 horsepower and 300 pound feet of torque. BMW also offers a V8 option producing 450 horsepower as well as a plug-in hybrid system that gives you an astonishing 27 miles to the gallon. Now these headlights have adaptive xenon lighting as well as all LED daytime running lights. However, you'll notice you have only halogen LEDs because let's be real, these BMW owners aren't going to be using those indicators anyways. Funny enough, in the back we have all LED taillights and if you like, take a look at the whole car in general, it's very beautiful, very handsome and it really commands people out of the way. I mean, it is a BMW after all. And it's got a power tailgate over here. And the cool thing about it is it's got a split tailgate just like Rolls Royces and just like Range Rover. So you can sit here, sit over here and you can drink your coffee and watch your wife fight with a Karen at the Costco parking lot over just some tissue rolls. That's comfort. So the BMW's trunk, when all the seats are folded down, gives you 66 cubic meters of storage space. So whatever your family gets up to, whatever shenanigans they do, they can find enough space in here. And there's also cinch points, so if you have to hold anything down, it can do that as well. And since we're at the back, let's listen to that exhaust. So the rear seating in the X5 is very substantial. Of course, it is a family SUV and there's a lot of features back here. For one, you have a lot of leg room. I'm 5'7", so I find myself uh, very comfortable in this space. When you close the door, you have a lot of water bottle storage and cubby space, manual shade holders, as well as dual climate control and heated seats. And you can also get cup holders in the back over here. All right, so getting into the BMW X5 interior, you ha I have to say it's a very comfortable, place to spend some time. There's leather everywhere, metal and wood trimmings, there's a panoramic extended sunroof to look at the world around you which makes the cabin look more airy than it is. There's dual climate zone control so you and your passenger can have two different uh, settings of heat or cold so if your partner gets cold they can have it on cold. If you're really chilly you can also be chilly. There's a power telescoping uh, steering wheel because you know manual labor we don't do that in a BMW. There's also a lot of storage cubbies in here, a lot of storage space, and of course you're going to need that if you're a family. Um, and the key also looks very nice. It has keyless entry as well. The key and buttons also have an interesting shape and are covered in metal and leather, having substantial weight to them, contributing to the premium feel. Like a good luxury vehicle, the X5 comes with a crisp digital gauge cluster, giving ample information to the driver. There are three driving modes to choose from. Sport mode gives an all red look with emphasis on the active gear and RPMs. 
The comfort setting gives a traditional look and the eco mode tells the driver how much power they are asking from the engine. Hill descent control is available and automatically applies the brakes while the driver controls the steering when going downhill. Auto hold in the X5 applies the brakes for you at a dead stop which is particularly handy in bumper to bumper traffic. BMW's infamous iDrive infotainment system is reliable and colorful with navigation maps clear and easy to understand. The whole system is in fact very intuitive and easy to pick up even on my first drive I had absolutely no issues navigating my way throughout all the settings. The car also has a primitive heads up display which lags behind modern day HUDs but keep in mind it is 5 years old but still allows the driver to change the brightness, location and rotation of the display. My favorite quirk and feature of modern day cars is interior lighting. The X5 has only a few colors to choose from, orange, blue, white or any combination of the three which illuminate the footwells and wood trim areas. And you can see how luxurious and pretty the lighting looks at nighttime. I could honestly spend hours in it. The car also has exterior and interior welcome lighting for you and your passengers which is actually quite bright so that you can see your way into the car gracefully. I was surprised how clear the front and back cameras were given the car's age, with tire guides for the back camera showing your path trajectory. And a bird's eye view camera with well stitched high resolution images, front and rear bumper sensors to tell the driver how far an object is and of course a blind spot monitoring system to top it off. The plush front seats have 10 way adjustment, lumbar support and 2 memory seat settings so either you, your spouse or your angsty teen don't have to remember their seat settings ever again. This leather steering wheel is very plush and comfortable. Not sure how BMW made it but it certainly feels top notch with adaptive cruise control and audio controls integrated into it as well. Rear seats also have dual zone climate control and heated seats, a surprising but rare feature. Honestly these were only half of the features I was able to go through. The interior is jam packed with tech, very comfortable, full of premium materials and I can see why a family would step up for this luxury crossover. Alright last talking point is the driving and it's been a while since I've driven a car that is so supple on the road but immediately responsive when thrown into sport mode. Wind and external noises were pretty muted and the general atmosphere of the car is great to drive around. So that's the BMW X35i and if you're a family that loves to go on long road trips and be very comfortable on 10, 20 hour drives, this car is perfect for you. And I would choose this car over a brand new 2021 BMW X5 and as I said before that car has an MSRP of $81,000 before taxes and delivery and this car is already at $30,000 and it's practically brand new so I would choose this. Now thank you so much for watching my reviews, hit that sub subscribe button and I hope to see you soon.